Hello, Sim friends, and we are back with another round of Architect Homes, and this is of the houseboats and also the penthouse apartments. So let's have a look at what they have to offer us in this round, and we'll see if it's worth it or not. All right, so here is the first houseboat. Um, off the bat, you do get the glam mansion windows, and also um, you do get those pillars these silver pillars and inside um there's really not much new items at all there's the ho uh the holiday high rise and then there's that great couch in there we have some of the um we have that dryer thing that silver the dryer thing we have that white stereo we have that urban fireplace and also a lofty lifestyle uh, dresser and when there's a football game playing in the background um you do get those bookshelves and that white couch from the party house and then here is you know, the kitchen you get those fridge and also the counter tops and i think the chairs are urban chairs and then here is this houseboat right here. Um, you are getting the Scandinavian windows. Usually I don't, you know, I don't have to point those out because they're pretty old. Um, you are getting that fireplace from the, I think it's the Glam Mansion event. And also you are getting that rug and that water cooler. Um, there's not really much in terms of newer items that sink or in the bathroom that's newer. Um, and you are getting the spa doors and these white and walnut doors may have been from an online pack long, a long time ago. You're getting the villa items and also that vanity that's not in the game anymore. Um, and and then there may be some smaller inventory items in here that you want to pay attention to in case you don't have those and yeah i mean honestly these houseboats in terms of layout they're both fine um i like them just fine um but in terms of inventory you may find that you're getting more in the mainland architect homes but that's quite a shock because usually the houseboats and apartments have more inventory. But these houseboats, they do have some inventory. You know, you just have to see what you got. But, um, but if you're um, a brand new player, yes, have a look at these houseboats. But if you're an older player... And you have all these items, I would save your money on these houseboats, quite honestly. Yeah, but layout-wise, appearance-wise, they're fine. Here is the first apartment. And this is the exact same apartment as we had in the last round. Um, I'm doing a click... Click? What am I saying? I'm doing a quick... A view over of this. Um... Uh, to just show you so you do have another chance to buy this apartment if you did want it in the last round and here is this apartment I believe that we also had um, had it as well in the last round I can't remember though but I believe we did and it's the same thing it's a bar and a lounge but you are getting uh, the lavish items in here a lot of the lavish items if you have not unlocked that event so um so you're getting those in here and and so inventory wise for a brand new player who has not unlocked these events or don't have any of these items you may want to check this out because because in terms of inventory it's not bad but I still think that it's the same house as we had 
in the last round. All right, so overall, um, in this round of architect homes, I would honestly save your money um, if you're an older player. But if you're a newer player, I would encourage you to have a look at the inventory items and see what you may not have, especially in the houseboats.